zone for a touchback. Carry here for Orleans Darkwall. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Second down, nine yards to go. Webb now from the gun, and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Here's Webb. Looking deep downfield. He's got a man complete. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. It's a big play for the Giants on third down. 41 yards. And the offense lining up first and 10. toss he'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run and it's second and four that play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it but still gotta like the way they're moving the football partner absolutely pretty good room to run on that last play yeah they didn't get a first down but still you'll take runs like that each and every time won't you second down and four gun it's Webb and they're not able to hook up there incomplete I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me I didn't see anything open and this play just didn't look right from the beginning it did not I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away dangerous pass incomplete And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. All right, here we go. The charge! Operating from the gun, Webb. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They are in a zone. Remember, folks, four interceptions for this defense a week ago first drive make it number five and the focal point will be the people who pick the ball out of the air but let's not forget to make that happen it has to be an excellent pass rush terrific coverage where they are plastered to the receivers and then of course taking it away making the catch and going in the other direction 17 yards on the pickup there and the drive will continue he was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That throw good for four. It's second down. Six yards here to go for the offense on second down. Now Wentz. And he is out of bounds 
on the other side of midfield. An eagle first down, Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. I don't mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Wentz going to give this one to Blunt. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside of the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. one down to the 36. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves them with third and just a yard. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Wins. Aguilar has it. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Nelson Aguilar, 36 yards. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. And all the pressure that goes on in these playoffs, but the first score here in the divisional round always very key. Partner, this team handled it like it was a regular season game, that they were confident in what they were doing, came right out, and established themselves early. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they through the interception and finish off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. Blitz coming and down he goes. Fletcher Cox. Forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. What will Webb try to do here after the sack as he brings his guys up third and long? And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Webb now. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. So they took a shot there on third down. Couldn't get it. Now it's four. Well, we quit counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third and a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. Call out a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game.
down gain of seven leaves him with a second and three well they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight so far it's working i like what we're seeing from the offensive line they seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and re-establishing the line of scrimmage moving that defensive front backwards but also like what the runner's giving us too it appears that he's been waiting all day long under a heavy rush and down he goes bj goodson now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. From the gun, it's Wins. And the third down pass falls incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. So on fourth down, here's the veteran left-footed punter Donnie Jones to kick it away. Back deep, it's Odell Beckham. And he gets off a high, spiraling kick. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. A play fake. Now Webb. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. The Giants on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, Webb. And Ingram holds it in. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A good pick up there, a 22. Not too many teams will use a first-round pick on a tight end, so you know that when one does, he's got to be pretty darn special. A small example of why they took him in the first round there. Nice little catch and run to get the good yardage. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Here we go now. Boom, now a first down throw. Webb throws left side complete to Brandon Marshall. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's the Giants with a football here. Second down now after the pass completion. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. 
Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Play fake here on first down. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Nigel Bradham coming in from his outside linebacker spot. He buries him for a loss of 10 or 11. To throw on second down, here's Webb. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Eagles have recovered. Thank goodness for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. Starts with a handoff to Blum. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Now out come the Giants, and a fumble last time. Ball security, talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, Ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. So that'll back him up five. Play action here on first down. That incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. To throw Webb. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The Giants on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 15. So the D-line's going to spread out. Off play action, it's Webb. And now another one thrown incomplete. Not only was that a three and out, it was their third straight incompletion on this drive. And they didn't even think about trying to run the football. Now they have to give it up. Aldrick Rosas now to try the Giants' field goal. This from 54 yards away. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 
A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And they'll go Wentz to block here. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. It's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. On second down, here's Wentz. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Alshon Jeffrey, 53 yards. And the Eagles had six to their lead. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. And New York set to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Give them a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second down, Webb. It's hauled in by Shepard. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Field stripe, they'll look to throw. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And they're able to 
this one past the 30, down to the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Now Darquan. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more NFC playoff action after this. Let's go! They'll run it now with Robinson. And he'll take this one down near the 15. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. Operating from the gun, Webb. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Call it a three-yard gain, and they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. Here's Darquan. And oh, he caught it up. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Some guys just have a knack for creating turnovers. He's got a little bit of that going. He forced a fumble last week, another one there. And it just drives teams crazy because they realize that certain guys, as you said, have that knack, and they're trying to keep them away from the action, away from the ball. But the best ones have that overwhelming desire, that overwhelming need to get to the football and make it happen, and that he does. They start on the ground here with Blum. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Again, here's Blood. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Andrew Adams. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. All right, here we go. Boom, no! They'll run with Darkwell. Inside the 20 before he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. 
Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open, that's a good start for him. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. To throw on second down. Webb. And that one was nearly picked. Not sure he was accounting for the free safety. Now it brings up third down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They do get 9, but it leads to 4th down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on four. Now a former New Mexico Lobo, it's Jarrell Presley. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. Well, remember, they could get the first down without getting the touchdown. And he's able to fight all the way down to the two-yard line. So it's a big conversion there on fourth down. And now they'll get four more shots from there. Now they try the right side here. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Do you think after that last run, they're thinking to themselves, we had to wait all day to play this night game, and we're still not able to run the ball the way we want to? Yeah, this defense, they've risen to the challenge all evening long. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. have got it back to a one-score game. And oh my goodness, this is nowhere close. Well to the right and no good. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half, but the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game, but a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire that sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going, and you also think at any moment I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know it's not that easy once you get off the gas a little. Yeah, they don't want to see this lead diminish anymore. Second down following the run.
Wentz now to throw. He finds Aguilar over the middle. Pass the 20. 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Nelson Aguilar. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, the second half, no matter what, whether it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. On first and 10, Webb. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And he's brought down after a good game. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Off play action. Webb. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Jordan Hicks in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Detroit! Detroit! Not that Looking to throw on second down. Webb. And his throw here is incomplete. He has just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. The Giants on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and 17. Now Webb. And that is incomplete. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. And out now come the Eagles. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A good first down call as the screenplay gets him nine. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Shift together here from the D-line. Now Blunt. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock, and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. They'll run it here with Blunt. Running right through it. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now a play fake. Wentz. Rush coming, and he's taken down. 
Oh, well, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. So a third and nine, and six defensive backs out there in the dime. Patrolling the passing lanes. Shotgun now for Wentz. And Jeffrey's got it. Give him 30 yards there. Well, it's easy to make a case that Alshon Jeffrey loves to run the post pattern. And the guy throwing the ball to him loves him running it. Right in his sight lines, great catch radius. He can stick the ball up there, and he can go out and get it. to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. They're bringing us about right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. So second and nine, the defense looking to put them in a bad spot here. Now a carry for Blunt. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. as he takes it down to the 16. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front, and it's not... You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air is out of the balloon, and right now they're almost lifeless. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. time to the tailback and he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage might have gotten a yard down to the 16. I like that run right there partner not the flashiest run not the one that's going to break for big yardage but he understands the situation and taking care of the football paramount and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead you're exactly right hold on to that ball. The Eagles on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and 11. Working from the gun. Wentz. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line... They really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. 
So now from a defensive perspective, they might still have a pulse. Yeah, that probably would have sealed their fate, but now they're still within two scores. On first down, it's Webb. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Nigel Bradham in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. To throw on second down. Webb over the middle. It's complete. 23 yards on the play. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Web to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. All right, here we go. All right, now, lucky 56. Throwing again. Webb. Throw left side complete. That's Lewis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Hurry up, here we go. Off the play fake. Webb. Open man right side is Ingram. Giants, Evan Ingram, 48 yards. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Now whistles and a timeout signaled here by the offense, and that's their first of this second half. A big play looming for the Giants as they'll go for two. Here's Webb. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. Well, let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Then he'll give it here to his running back. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now.
Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. So it was looking good, but nothing there. And now it's third down and inches. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. So they stay alive in the NFL playoffs, move on to the conference championship. And do you think that the printing press is starting to get those T-shirts and hats ready, my friend? They have to, Brandon. They have to be ready because if you win, you've got to hand those out on the field right away. And just think about the pressure for the players now. Families are going to be talking about tickets to the Super Bowl even before you play the conference championship game. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from East Rutherford.